Welcome back to the David Pakman Show. Well, if you've never heard of a term called a man brain, it's apparently something that exists in Maine. And Republican House Minority Leader, who is, of course, a Republican, Kenneth Fredette, was talking about it. He had a video where he was he was caught on video talking about how well th- it was a discussion about Obamacare. OK, and it was about Obamacare's federal funding for the Medicaid expansion at the state level, which is the, the federal government will give money to the states in order to expand Medicare, Medicaid. I'm sorry. And uh, he basically made the case that to women, because they have women brains, when they hear, oh, the federal government is giving us money, it sounds like it's free money. But because he has a man brain, he is fundamentally different. He's different in that he's able to understand how it's not really free because we get money, but then things end up getting way more expensive. So then it's like not as good type of thing. Here's what he had to say. People are obviously going nuts. Him talking about man brains and he's just able to better understand it. Take a listen to him. The debate today and an earlier debate on this bill. I can't help but think of a title of a book. Men are from Mars and women are from Venus. <laughs> and it's a book about the fact that men sort of think one way in, in their own brain, in their own world, and women think another way in their brain, in their own world. And it really talks about the way that men and women can do a better job at communicating. Mm. Because if you listen to the debate today, in my mind, a man's mind, I I, I hear really two fundamental issues. From the other side of the aisle, I hear the conversation being about free. This is free. We need to take it, and it's free. And, And we need to do it now. And that's sort of the fundamental message that my brain receives. Now, my brain, being a man's brain, right. sort of thinks differently. Hmm. Because I say, well, it's not, if it's free, is it really free? Because I say, in my brain, there's a cost to this. What do you think, Lewis? His man brain is able to do all sorts of stuff that uh, women brains just aren't able to do. Does huh. he understand how video and the internet work? That would be question one. Does his man brain understand that? I don't know. I, I don't really know what to say about this. It's... It's highly unusual. This did not work. His gendered argument did not win over fellow lawmakers who passed the Medicaid expansion, fortunately. (laughs) And the funny thing is his man brain actually got the facts just flat out wrong on the Medicaid expansion. And State Representative Diane Russell was not pleased at all with his dismissal of her woman brain. She said, I thought it was 2013, not 1813. Apparently I was wrong. His man brain actually. Now, here's let's, let's take it a step back. I'm not against, at face value, discussing ways in which men, men and, men's and women's brains operate differently and may or may not assimilate information differently. In other words, I'm open to that. If that's the case, let's explore that. If it's not the case, then we can disregard it. I'm not against that. But the specific accusation he's making about how his man, man brain understands financial stuff and numbers better, he doesn't seem to understand the basic premise that keeping people healthy is much cheaper than ponying up a ton of money for emergency room care for conditions that could have been prevented or managed from the beginning. And I don't know how to make it like maybe because he has a man brain, he wants like something about cars. Like it's cheaper to get an oil change every three months than to replace the engine when it explodes. Like, I don't understand how his man brain could understand it better. I'm just not sure. I don't know. I I think we kind of have a problem where the smart the smart people who would be great politicians look at our political system and they say, I don't want to get involved. Look at the people who are in there and say, are you kidding me? I don't want to have anything to do with this. This guy is definitely setting off my man brain alarm. Let's put it that way. Yeah. He may be suffering from the Dunning Kruger effect where he lacks the cognitive skills to recognize the flaws in his own argument. Don't you think Natan? Yeah, absolutely. And it seemed to me like, um, I don't know if anyone else caught this, that he was basically, uh, saying that the other side, the Democrats, the ones who support the expansion, are sort of... Uh, he was emasculating them. He was saying right, that right. they're not men. My man brain, not in the sense that my opponents are women, but in the sense of my opponents are all like women. Right. Okay. Anyway. Uh, let's... Uh, what do we need to do? Do we need to take a break, Lewis? I, I believe we do. <laughs> okay. Lewis is gesticulating. Lewis wants me to take a break. Let's take a break. And then we will come back. We will talk about uh, we have a, a challenger, potentially a challenger to Miss South Carolina. Um, we will discuss and, and uh, <laughs> decide 
whether it is a, a bona fide challenge or whether it is really not. Back after this. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. <laughs> 